Hello everyone, my name is Yogesh Arora. I am a student of Computer Engineering of 6th semester from Ambedkar Polytechnic. I have done my training from Oxford Software Institute and I have made my final project on Library Management System implemented in CSHAP.net. So, now I am showing you this project. As you can see, these are the files of my project. To start the software, double click on Library Management.exe. This is welcome screen. This software is accessible by administrator, employee or guest. A password is set to administrator and employee to prevent the unauthorized access to the information associated with databases. There is no password for guest. So now let's come to each of the access permission options. Click on the employee and enter the password. These are the employee menus. An employee is the person who is librarian handling all the work associated with books and library. So now I am going to click on issue book button. On the top left side there is a search box where you need to enter the roll number of student and book ID of the book you want to issue. In bottom you can't write anything in any of the text box, they are only for read purpose. If you do any mistake in such box, for example, if the box is left empty, a wrong book name is entered that does not exist or if a book name is entered that has already been issued, then it will show an error on the block in top right side. This book has already been issued by a student of roll number 59 APC 2010. So you can't issue it again as it is showing an error. If a student tries to issue book more than limit provided, then it will show an error in error box. Librarian can issue a book when there is no error in issuing. In View Issued tab, Librarian can see the issued books and also he can search them by roll number and book ID. Return Book The same thing you have to do in returning book that is searching by roll number and book ID. Only that ID of book should be entered that the student wants to return. You can see here details of the book to be returned with the fine associated with the due books. In case if a student loses his book then by clicking on the link book lost. The librarian can add the cost of the book in the fine associated with that book and then Clicking on the submit will complete this task. The librarian can see the details of how much fine has been collected yet by clicking on view fine collection button. Original fine. It shows that how much fine have to be collected from students. Submit fine. It shows that how much fine the librarian have been collecting from students. Student Detail By Student Detail button, we can add the details of a student. You can browse image from here. It includes autofill option also in which entering a letter gives the word associated with it. By View All Student buttons, we can search student details. There are three types of search in it. Normal search that is in front of you.
क्लास सर्च इन क्लास सर्च यू कैन सर्च डिटेल्स ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ अ पर्टिकुलर क्लास एडवांस सर्च इन विच द लाइब्रेरियन कैन सर्च एनी थिंग इन द होल डाटा बेस एडिट फ्रॉम हेयर द डिटेल्स ऑफ एनी स्टूडेंट कैन बी अपडेटेड दिस इज कंफर्मेशन बॉक्स and the update process is done now edit from here the details of any student can be updated this is confirmation box and the update process is done now delete this z cross button deletes the student entry only if there is no due books of that student if there are due books then it will show an error message and the entry can't be deleted now let come back to the menu again book detail you can maintain the book record here it also contains the autofill option so you don't need to enter the full name of book you can generate many ids from one isbn number so if once the details of isbn number are, are added you don't need to edit again like this 13223435345654 on the right side it is showing that There are already three copies of this ISBN number are present, and there is a help box which shows this message that you need to enter just a book ID when the librarian wants to generate. The ID is generated, and there are four copies of this ISBN number. Add book to shelf link. This helps in placing the book on shelf where the librarian wants by entering the row number and shelf number. Only that ID can be entered here that was already generated and which is not present in a shelf. So now the book is successfully placed on the shelf. All the details of due books can be seen in this option. And if a student do not return the book and keep it till the end of semester, then librarian considers that book to be lost and delete the book. And he can deduct the fine from the reported deposit of the student. Library The image of library can be added from here. View library images. This helps in watching the added images and you can also delete from here. Now let come back to the menu again. These are the employee options. About change password, exit and sign out. Administrator. The administrator can see all the information associated with the library. view students 
view books view due books view library images view find collection but the main work of administrator is to do library settings sign out guest now let's come to the guest permission the guest can be any of the student or faculty member who can view information associated with students and books view books view issue detail view library images and last view library settings exit this is control panel by which you can change the location of database and permission of application i am setting the system type to guest and changing the database location to network So now this application can work on multiple systems. That was my library management system. Thank you.